Alrighty guys, so the other video had paused, so I'm still uh, fiddling around with uh, using my mobile to get some of this done um, with uh, filming. Um, so uh, anyway guys, uh, going back to the dualies, these dualies really um, uh, uh, help keep the truck on the ground. Um, definitely uh, eliminated the tipping issue. Uh, plus with, the, with it being aluminum wheels on it, you know, it keeps it helps keep that keep the weight where it needs to be down low. Anyway, guys, so we're gonna change out the um, the like I said, the micro servos. Uh, we've got uh, I've got hot racing's um, aluminum servo saver. You just gotta add your springs from your stock servo savers for your small ones, from your small or your micro servos. Uh, the uh, servo savers. Uh, so anyway, this is the the part here. Um, so I've got two more coming. My wife didn't only order one, and, she, and so I had to order the other. So anyway, we'll move on from that. Um, and then we, we're going to get the uh, Bluebird. I think they're 373 micro servos. They do list them as waterproof, but they're about the only one that's closest to the spec of these um, Traxxas servos. Um, like I said, the only issue I will have to check out when I get the aluminum bracket. I got order from Hot Racing for this, um, for the double servos for the dip locks is if I'm gonna have to do anything as far as it the motor or the wire the connector wire coming out the side instead of the bottom like on this stock Traxxas servo uh, so I'll, I don't know uh, until I get the new bracket here what if I'm gonna have to do anything to that and then I've got an aluminum bracket coming for this as well so anyway guys we're gonna move past all that and we are gonna move to another bit now you guys know obviously with the name of my channel the gaming oubliette I do gaming as well. Well, the truck is also getting a radio upgrade. This is the Eternity Evolution radio, guys. And so, um, I can't remember if I think I got the mode one. So this has a throttle spring on this side. Uh, I already got to run the truck some with it. Um, very easy. If you're a gamer, guys, this radio was so easy to be able to use versus the pistol grip. Like, the pistol grip has always been awkward to me. Um, versus um, like a game controller where this was just like second nature to me like I could move the maneuver the truck like unbelievably with this radio um, so I got the radio because there's two types there's mode one and mode two and I can't remember which one this one is but it's one I think it's is it mode one it has a spring throttle on this side is what I had done uh, it has an on and off toggle switch here uh, it has a push button toggle switch um, right here you push this up and you can spin this knob uh, right here so you can use this knob and then it has um, two toggles uh, three position toggle switches on the bottom uh, right there um, it does have a cover I didn't bring it out here to shoot guys but when I get ready to do the next video uh, it'll probably take me a couple videos to do this I'll, I'll bring it out and show it to you so this part is still, this is not spring-loaded on the uh, right side of the stick, uh, the up and down. Now, what I'm using this for is the gear shift. So, um, when, uh, I want to see if I can rat, uh, if I can tighten the um, adjustment down to make this a little stiffer. But it was very easy to use with it in the up position or the down position for my steering. So, you know, you, up is in low. So, I made it in, so this is another re reason I did this was so it would add another uh, aspect of realism to it. So, basically, I can shift it like a real transmission. So, so as I'm driving now... Obviously, you want to go down into low speed or, or at a stop to shift the transmission. You don't want to do it all out at it. The transmission does the, does not like that. It's hard on the gears. Um, so anyway, uh, so I, wait, all I have to do is just move it up or down, uh, up for low, and then down for high gear. And then I still am able to use the radio. I don't know if I can show you guys this, but it's still very, even with it not being... Um, ratchet and I may uh, I didn't go inside and t adjust the tension so I may do that uh, but as you can see um, very easy to steer even in the up or the down position I'm trying to do this one handed in film so as you can see it's very easy to steer and then all the way down so either way 
and then I'm going to use uh, one of these toggle switches for my winch and one the other one for the diff locks, which I have to work all that out. Um, but this radio is very cool, guys. You just uh, It does light up. You can have the joysticks light up, which I thought was cool. You don't have to have it do that. But, at, uh, uh, but anyway, guys, um, so i got to remember, let's see here. Uh, now I'm trying to remember how to get the, uh, which one is, uh, let's see. I'm still kind of new with this radio, guys. There we go. So as you can see, it lights up. And, uh, it's a you don't have to have lights on you can also change them colors guys which was which i thought was really cool um this one does not require batteries at all so that's another thing with this radio i'll go through that part of it as well when i go in and get the cover and do the next video for that but i wanted to show this as part of it guys um so anyway guys uh, i'll um uh end this video with that and um uh, we're going to go into the other parts of what I'm doing with the truck and as far as the body goes. And um, So anyway, guys, uh, let me get these two um, done here, and uh, I'll get these uploaded to YouTube, and then I'll, I'll do another one here in the next few minutes, uh, another actually couple or so. Uh, and that way I can go over some of the other stuff I got. All right, guys, so we'll see you again.